Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I'm doing my book haul video from my Sydney trip. So I went to Sydney Writers Festival and TeenCon where I basically met a bunch of authors and hung out with all my amazing book friends and also got a few slash a ton of free books which I'm super excited for. I also had no control over myself and my book buying habits so I bought a ton of books as well and somehow I managed to get them all back to Perth without going over my baggage limit. I'm gonna jump straight in and tell you guys about which books that I bought and pretty much describe the ones that I'm super excited for and that I can recommend to you guys. So starting off, um, this is a book that I already own. It was one of the free books in the goodie bag and so I'm basically going to think of rehoming it to someone who will love it soon because it is a book that I enjoy quite a bit. It is a fantasy and I still need to read the second one but I haven't got around to it yet and that is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Next up is a book I haven't heard of before but to me it sounds very similar to The Infernal Devices um, so I'm pretty sure when I do read it it's going to be a very easy and fun read and that is Lady Helen and the Dark Days by Alison Goodman. So it is about a lady who is basically going out to make her debut in all the courts and everything like that and then she somehow gets wrapped up in like a demonic kind of world as well. Demon Road by Derek Landy and the publisher which is HarperCollins talked about this book at the event and she really sold it on the fact that there is no romance in this book which makes me super excited for it. It is quite a large book that I'm going to be pretty excited to read because as much as I do love my romance, I also love books that don't have romance too. This is a signed copy of A Corner of White by Jacqueline Morarity and I have heard amazing things about this book, that it is beautiful and the way that it is written is just absolutely gorgeous and so I can't wait to get around to reading it. Plus there's a map in the front of the book which makes it an automatic win in my books. So it is about two characters who live very far apart when a crack in the world opens up and they find themselves being able to communicate. I also already owned a copy of this book but one of my friends borrowed it and completely ruined the cover of it by bending it and ripping it and so when I saw it in the goodie bags I kind of like squealed a bit because now I have another beautiful prime pristine condition of it and that is Zeros by Scott Westerfeld, Margot Lanigan and Deborah Biancotti and basically this is a book about kids with powers so it's gonna be awesome. The special ones by M. Bailey, um, this one has just been released and I read this on the plane on the way back and it is a very creepy cult novel and it really stood out to me because it has the horrible thing of having the actual like cult slash kidnapper leader things um, perspective in these books so you can see what his thoughts are with everything that is happening and it was just so crazy having that inside perspective and like just seeing how warped their mind was. If you guys feel like something that's going to give you chills up your spine you guys should pick this book up. I'm pretty sure in my last book haul video this was in it but this is a signed edition of Front Lines by Michael Grant. So this book is about World War II where they have the alternative like universe where women too were involved in the war and I'm really hoping it's going to be a very feminine empowering novel um, and I'm pretty excited to get around to reading this. I can't guarantee when I will but I will. A Single Stone by Meg McKinley and I haven't heard much about this book but it is a signed copy so of course me being me picked it up straight away. So if you guys have read this book and think it's good let me know in the comments below or message me on any of my social media because I kind of need to prioritize what books I am going to read and what books I just bought because I could. So this is The Other Side of Summer by Emily Gale and it is a contemporary book about a young girl who has basically been through a bunch of tragedies and once she's finally started to get back on her feet her dad moves her all the way down to Australia this wonderful country and her life is pretty much thrown upside down. I've heard Good things about this book so far, it hasn't, it's not being released until the 30th of May, so it comes out very soon. Once again, if anyone who has read it, let me know how you liked it. This next book is one that I read like a month or so ago as an ARC, and I'm super excited about it because I absolutely love this next contemporary book. And from the like reviews that I have heard so far, everybody else really enjoys it. Um, I got this one from the YA Chronicles. Um, I've mixed it in with all my other books but hey I'll talk about it now too because it's so good and that is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. and look at how cute all those little pooches are and the little pug there on the back. It's just absolutely adorable. So this book is about Andy who is a congressman's daughter and when her dad is involved in a scandal she finds that her internship to John Hopkins Medical place is pretty much pulled out from under her feet. So she finds herself with a summer to spend with her friends and a potential boy that she meets after she saves his dog from being hit by a car 
and she also decides that she's going to walk dogs in the summer. So it's a really fun novel. Um, it's one of those books that don't really have a plot line, but you still find yourself enjoying it anyway because you're so invested in these characters, and it was just really good. Plus, I loved all the puppies in it. They're so cute. And sticking with Morgan Matson, I also received Since You've Been Gone, which I am so excited to read. The Unexpected Everything was my first Morgan Matson book, and so I need to read all of her other ones as well. So you have Since You've Been Gone, Second Chance, Summer, and Amy and Roger's Epic Detour. So I'm going to jump on that and start reading them soon. Now I am aware that this next one is like book three in the series. But it's the signed copy, and it's Melina Marquetta, so I kind of had to do it. I've been wanting to read the Limitia Chronicles for so long, but yeah, I can't really tell you guys what this one's about because I don't want to spoil it for myself. Read Melina Marquetta, especially if you guys see this adorable edition of Looking for Ella Brandy. This is my second copy of Looking for Ella Brandy, but this one I've had my eye on for so long, and when I saw it at Dimmix on George Street and it was signed, I kind of knew that I had to pick it up. So this is an awesome contemporary read following the story of Ella Brandy and her life with her family, well her mum and her grandma and like these boys and it's just really good and really sad at the same time but I loved everything about this book. In Between Days by Vicki Wakefield and I have read this book and it is an amazing Australian novel. Really good. It has like one of those like really deep meaningful things behind the story which I really enjoyed and Vicki Wakefield is like a god um, she wrote Friday Brown. If you guys haven't read that, you need to read that. The next together are by Lauren James and the cover reveal for her next book has just come out and if you guys read this and liked it or haven't read this but should read this, you guys have to go and check it out. Her book covers are so beautiful. Also, thank you to Alison from Read Around the Rosie who not only like looked after me this entire trip along with like Beck as well. Um, she also gave me The Crown by Kiera Cass, which is like the last book in the selection series. Um, she accidentally got it in hardback and since my entire selection series doesn't match, I was like, hell yeah, I'll take another one. That way I can mess up my entire series and not care about it too much, but I kind of do. Basically, None of them are like the same heights as each other. So I have the most mismatched by slightly differences of the selection series ever, but um, I'm pretty excited to have them all together because they're really pretty books. Feeling Sorry for Cecilia by Jacqueline Memoriti again, and I haven't heard many things about this book, not as much as I had with The Corner of White. So if you guys have any opinions on this one, let me know. And lastly, we have Assassin's Heart by Sarah Ayers, and from what I've heard, this is like a pretty much like Throne of Glass styled book in a fantasy world where she's an assassin, but I'm kind of excited to read it, and hopefully it won't be anything like Throne of Glass, and that it will kind of create its own league and be amazing and breathtaking because yeah I really want another great fantasy series to add to my list but if you guys have read this let me know what your thoughts are on it because I would love to know if I'm gonna love it or not before I start it. Now for one of my greater parts because as a reader in Perth um, there are not many graphic novel stores over here like this book I bought Nailbiter it cost me $25 for one graphic novel Whereas in Sydney, I bought this for $13. Um, this is Paper Girls, which I am super excited to get around to reading. Um, I've heard many great things about this comic, and I just love the cover of it too. So when I saw it there, I was like, you're coming home with me, and I'm going to enjoy every single page of you. And also in my last video, I talked about wanting to buy Lumberjanes. Um, well, like, Lumberjanes 2 and 3, because I already bought one and I loved it. But then you can literally see me just go, as soon as payday rolls around, they're mine. Wait, nope, I'm on a book buying ban. Book buying ban. I will have to wait. So guess what I went and did? I bought Lumberjanes 2 and 3, which I am so excited for, because I loved the first one so much. And I don't think I can ever have enough Lumberjanes. And Rat Queens! Um, once again, I have heard many great things about these. Um, the first one apparently is one of the greatest, and then the second one's pretty good, but then apparently it goes downhill. I can't remember who told me or explained why it does, but I'm really hoping it's going to stay amazing. And lastly, out of all these books that I have bought, I also got The Wicked and the Divine Commercial Suicide. So this is the third the third one in this graphic novel series and I absolutely adore this one so much um, but this one I think I gave it four stars I didn't feel like it was as great as the first two but I still really really enjoyed it and loved it 
I also had like a bunch of big fangirl moments when I was at Teen Gone because I met Jay Kristoff who is the author of Illuminae and the Nevernight series and he gave me signed bookmarks which I was like super excited about because I didn't even think to bring the books with me because I didn't think I was going to meet Jay Kristoff but I did. And also the night that I arrived in Sydney, I went to the Lynette Noni signing, and for those who don't know Lynette Noni, she is the author of Akane and Aurelia, and this is the Midoran Chronicles, and it is like an amazing um, fantasy series that if you guys like Percy Jackson or Harry Potter, you guys should read these books. It's like focused around friendship and like magic powers, and it's just a wonderful, you guys should read it. And I also got to meet Megan Jacobson, who is the author of Yellow, um, I also got to meet Siobhan Ploza, who is the author of Frankie, and Wilkes Starkus, who is the author of The Sidekicks of First, Third, and Loathing Lola. Um, we all went out for dinner and it was just like amazing and they were real people. They wrote books that were good. So basically, <clears throat> this is my uh, huge book hole from my Sydney Teen Con and I am going to officially die under my pile of TBR books. But uh, at least you guys know that I died happy. So thank you for watching and I will be back with another video soon. Um, until then, like, subscribe, talk to me, be cool, read books and just smile. Yeah. Also, quick side note, I had done a bunch of collabs with some of my book friends, so I will leave a link to them below as well and you guys can check them out because we had so much fun and I already miss their beautiful faces.